Um, in the previous video, I showed you how to get to Microsoft Word, um, what the Surf's Up flyer was, and I highlighted the objectives of the lesson. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the flyer. Um, so I ran Word, and this is a blank document. Okay, Down here is the status bar, and this right here are the different views. So we've got read mode, okay? We've got print layout view, which is a default view of Microsoft Word. Okay, this is print layout view. It's how it would look if you printed it out. And this is web layout. Okay, different types of views. Um, this is the zoom slider right here. So if I want to get a little bit closer without changing my font, um, that's one of the big mistakes some of my students make is they're like, oh, I can't see it. I'm like, well, just change your zoom. Um, because if you change your font, it's going to print out weird. And you, you don't want that. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is enter in text. Okay, so to begin creating the flyer, we're going to type the headline in the document window. And while I'm going through this, I'm actually going through the textbook. So if you want to go ahead and work ahead in front of me, um, that's fine. Um, you can always rewind in case you miss something. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to type surfs up as the headline okay um, and if you make an error like I just did you can press the backspace key and retype it you don't have to like erase it or anything like that um, then what we're going to do is we're going to press the enter key to move the insertion point to the beginning of the next line okay um, the reason why there's blank there's a blank space that appears between the headline and the insertion point um, is each time you press the enter key, Word creates a new paragraph and inserts a blank space in between the two paragraphs. Um, later you're going to learn how to increase or decrease the spacing in between these. Um, uh, what you might need is you might, um, you might find it helpful to display the formatting marks while working in a document um, because it shows you kind of where you space and where you enter. And where the formatting marks are is if you click the home tab here you'll look and find the paragraph group and then right here show hide formatting marks uh, that's something you need to know how to do because it might be on your certification exam so a formatting mark um, is a character that a word that word displays on the screen but isn't actually visible on a, word, a printed document so when you print this out these formatting marks won't show up okay so we went ahead and did the formatting marks so now we're going to insert a blank line. Okay, so to enter a blank line in a document, you're going to press enter without typing any text on the line. So we're going to press enter. So if you see here, we've got a blank line here. Okay, um, as I was showing you before, this is the zoom slider. Okay, or you can go to view and you'll see the page width button right here. You can zoom the document so the width of the page matches the width of the window. So you can zoom it in like this. Or you can do it to where you can see the entire page. Or you can go back to 100%. Or you can go to multiple pages or whatever you need to do. Okay. So what you just did is you learned how to type text. You learned how to display formatting marks. You learned how to insert a blank line. And you learned how to zoom page width. 